So one of the things I've decided to do is to plant an apple orchard here on the farm of at least a hundred different apple trees. And while it would be great to go get some two or three year old trees, given that it's going to take at least five years for them to produce fruit in Alaska, that's a ridiculous amount of money. So what I did was I bought some really hardy rootstock and I ended up getting a bunch of different varieties of apples. Um, I'm not entirely sure if these are all going to grow here. Um, probably can't read that. Burgundy, Famous, Frostbite, Melrose, Prairie Spy, etc. Um, you know, they're not the Norlands and the Parklands and the other proven varieties. So if any of you are apple growers in Alaska, um, you may look at those and say that's not going to work. That's the bad news. The other piece of bad news is I've never grafted before. You know, this isn't a how-to channel, so I don't really show people how to do things because most of the time I don't know. I've never grafted before yesterday. I had to learn how to use this tool. And it's actually pretty cool because what it does is it makes a little wedge like this on one piece. And then when you flip it over, it makes a corresponding groove in the other piece. And then what we did is we simply took the root stock and we grafted them together. You know, there's a little wedge like right there. See that? Okay, so, and then I just put the uh, grafting tape around it. Um, I was very careful to label my varieties, um, at least temporarily, because as a farmer, I need to know what's gonna grow and what isn't gonna grow. And so I've, I have not put these silver tags on every tree. I did it on a couple of them there, but I'm worried that might be too much weight for the graft. So what I started doing was just writing it on these tags and just putting it here. And then when I see what takes and what doesn't, I can more permanently tag them. I don't know if this is going to work or not work. Um, one of the problems that we had was some of the, the scions were a little bit too big for the rootstock. So I've dipped them in rooting hormone and I have put them in water. I realize they're extremely unlikely to grow, but it's either that or throw them out. So I thought I would at least try. So anyways, this is what we're doing here. I've got uh, about 80 trees done so far until I ran out of pots. And um, I'm gonna do the rest tomorrow and uh, see what goes here and then leave them in my greenhouse until they take and then let them live outside over the summer and then put them back in my greenhouse this winter and hopefully transplant them next year into an orchard and have at least 100 apple trees. So that's what I'm doing on the farm here, as on top of the, the beef and the chicken and the pork. And part of it is because I wanna grow a lot of food, including in that area and there, and excuse the fact you're looking through a window, but that is gonna be my vegetable garden next year. It's 50 by 100 spot. And then up there where the red buildings are, let me see if I can move so the light's not so obnoxious. Um, that doesn't help much, does it? But uh, in any event, that's where the apple orchard is gonna be. So if you combine that with this greenhouse when it's fully functional, um, which right now it's it's not because I'm still trying to grow apples and things in it. Uh, I think I'll be able to just grow an enormous amount of food for Alaskans. So anyways, I'm going to try this apple grafting thing here and try these varieties and see if I can make them work. 